All right, so uh, since the Witcher Netflix show kind of brought me back to this game, and I've been really having a lot of fun with it, um, I'm gonna do like a little mini review and watch some replays of uh, some matches I did the other night. Mm, because, uh, well, I have to do replays because streaming and trying to play this game online is fucked. It doesn't work. Um, it only works with like the games with the high end netcode like Mortal Kombat and Killing Instinct. Uh, but anyway. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah. Oh, and of all these matches, I played them off stream, except for this first one. So like, this is the only one where I fuck up due to the lag. The other times I just fuck up, cause, you know, I suck. <laughs> or whatever. But uh, yeah, the show's really cool. So I'm gonna go through each episode while I watch a replay and just talk about the things I like about each episode while we uh, share smoke. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> All right. <coughs> I finally got my own smartphone, dude. This shit's tight. Um, the first episode, it starts out with him fighting that Kikimura, which is really cool. Um, oh yeah, Henry Cavill, he's fucking awesome, dude. I really hope they bring him back for Superman. Um, him fighting Renfri. Um, that fight at the end of the episode is really badass. You dare Unfortunately, like overshadows everything else in the show, but it's still pretty safe. Um, that hurt. Oh man, fuck the little girl that was like cool with Geralt, and then she turns her back on after he fucks everybody up. <laughs> the butcher of Black one. That's in his move set too. I forget what the move is. Um, <clears throat> I was straggle board, dude. There's like titties right in the early part of the episode, which is <laughs> pretty cool. It seems a little out of place, but honestly, to me, like, just as a casual fan of The Witcher, like, to me, nudity in the series kind of goes through the game. It didn't seem too out of place. Oh, and it shows, um, Sentry getting attacked by the fucking whatever those dudes were, the milk guardians. <laughs> the milk guardians. Um, I think the coolest character out of that was Mousat. Because um, he can do magic and shit. And he's a cool character. Uh, let's see. I like the title cards at the beginning of each episode. With, like the little logo. That's pretty cool. I like the intro song. A lot of the music kind of reminds me of the game. And he even gets the theme song, which is awesome. What? That comes later. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, Surreal is kind of whack. Stand up. Now take my steel. Uh, Ever fight a yeah, witcher? I can't remember anything else Guess about this episode. It's been like a week or two since I've seen him. Damn. Okay, so the second episode, Four Marks, is where they show Yennefer. She's a fucking when hunchback. Collide, chaos At first, I wasn't sure if they were gonna like have two actresses, but you can tell in her face, like, oh, this she's too she's too pretty to like only be the ugly Yennefer, you know. But it would have been cool if they did like. One. I don't know, a golem dynamic or some shit where they kept both of them. And like, she talks to her like when she's in a mirror or something cheesy, like fuck like that. So, yeah. Um, oh yeah, there's a wizarding school, which is cool. Or a teacher. I like that shit. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, there's that couple that she's like creeping on, which is funny. She's about to, they're about to fuck, and then she makes a portal to some dude that she ends up fucking. 
<clears throat> oh, the Sylvan. He's like a fucking... Like a fawn. But he was like really grotesque. It was kind of an interesting design. It was hard to look at it. <laughs> uh, when he meets Yaskier the Bard. Uh, he's an awesome character. It's kind of like one of those things where... Um, like the main character ends up with like fucking companions. It's annoying as fuck, but he's up the ground. And of course, like he shit talks them at the end of the season and they like, before that. But you know they're gonna get back together at some point. <clears throat> oh, and they show all the elves and shit. Yeah, whatever. I think that was kind of like one of the weaker episodes. The third episode is called Betrayer Moon. Who the fuck? Bo DeMaio directed this episode. Anyway. Oh, okay, so this is the episode where, um, Yennefer's fucking that dude and she, like, I magically makes her own audience to, like, at, this at first I thought she was doing it to, like, <laughs> You owe me a fight like, you know how when you're fucking a girl and she's like super loud and like, like, you know, talking shit <laughs> to like get you, you know, going or whatever? To, uh, boost your ego. So anyway, I thought that's what she was doing with all the people clapping, but I think it was more to boost her ego. Like, she was fucking doing all the work, right? Even with a hunchback. She was riding. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> What's the one where she changes? Oh, okay, this is the one where he fights the Striga, which is a fucking creature born of insects. Uh, that was cursed or whatever. The king's sperm was cursed. Just fucked up. The Striga is really cool. It's probably the best monster in the show. And probably one of my favorite parts of the show, too. Because uh, it reminds me of, like, Evil Dead. Like having some weird fish in a costume. And they do use CG at certain parts where she's like crawling on the wall, which is cool. Uh, that's a nice mixture of CG. And not just using it all the time. Oh, Cyrilla so goes to the forest. Fuck all that shit. <clears throat> Yeah, I think this is the one where Yennefer changes. The one thing I liked about it was um, one of her sister witches, the one that kind of looks like an L. She like does the arching archer shit uh, towards the end of the series. Um, I thought the gag was that she looked the same already, like she was already pretty. But she just wanted bigger tits. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was the joke. I don't know because they started showing them. Damn. More prominently, this is just plain strange. Um, you know, after all, they all change and shit. Uh, okay, so the fourth episode is of banquets, bastards, and burials. What the fuck? A history of conflict uh, repeats itself at this old sea keep. Oh, this is the one with the, the fucking the dead baby. Which I don't know what was up with that dude. Like, <laughs> that dead baby got a lot of screen time, man. Battle one. Maybe they're inspired by Kojima, but uh, <laughs> yeah, that was interesting. Um, what else happens? Okay, so this is the one with the <clears throat> the festival. It's like another flashback. Uh, one thing people complain about the show is that they don't explain the flashback. Well, I was trying to do the kick mix up, and if you hold it, he'll it'll get a ring out. But I kept fucking it up. And I never got it. I fuck it up later. Um, but yeah, this was weird because like Cyrilla's mom. I thought it was just like a grown-up version of Cyrilla, or like an alternate alternate timeline where um, Sentra didn't get attacked. So I was confused at first, but whatever. This shit's weird. Oh, and then her boyfriend comes in and he's fucking Sonic the Hedgehog. And like they use their love to fly in the air. 
I don't know, it was crazy. <laughs> That's probably one of the weaker episodes too. Uh, what else happened? Oh, all that lost tag bullshit. Oh yeah, one thing I thought happened here was when Geralt claimed the lost surprise, I thought as soon as he claimed it, like he got her pregnant, but she maybe she was already pregnant, I don't know. Or like it changed. See, that was supposed to be the hell dude. Uh, I don't know, what the fuck. <laughs> I just thought like his DNA went in her to, went to, uh, in her body. Uh, whenever he claimed the fucking law. But who knows? I think just for some reason, Cyrilla's uh, mom and the Witcher look alike. So it looks like they should have had a baby already. Okay, so the fifth episode is Bottled Appetites. Oh, this is the one with the fucking genie, dude. It's pretty funny, Geralt's like the desire for power fishing in the, the, in the fucking the pond desert. for a genie bottle. Medallion's humming. Who the hell are you? Uh, and then... I believe in the path I this is where they start Yennefer's bullshit where she wants to have a baby. Which is whatever. <laughs> oh, they finally have sex in this episode, which is... Um, this is kind of a fuck, like... Okay, so there's a doppelganger that takes over Mousetech's body. Uh, and they explain that when he does this, he takes their memories, but later on in the show, like... He doesn't fucking know anything about Mousetech, which doesn't make any sense. Um... Maybe the excuse is that he's annoyed because she's asking questions, so I don't know. Oh yeah, they actually don't say what Geralt was for. Um, so that's like, sort of like an ongoing thread where like you don't know if they're really attracted to her because he wished it, which doesn't make any sense because like of course he's fucking attracted to girl like that should be a given. This dude was fucking me up just like hitting every button. I wish you were more flesh on hate after that blood kick, dude. You really can't do that. <laughs> that sound effect is really annoying. I thought he was gonna sleep for a second. I guess one of the things that's disappointing about that episode was that you don't actually see the gym. It would have been cool to actually like show. That wasn't actually a fun. Not your lucky day. I don't remember which song uh, he comes up with the top of the coin for your wisdom song. Uh, but that's like one of the best parts of the show. Okay, so the sixth episode is Rare Species. Um, they go on a dragon hunt, this old dude, with two like Amazonian women. <laughs> like, uh, give him the job. Come on. And Let's somehow Yennefer's this. there too, and she's like escorting this knight who's like a fucking tryhard, which is really funny. Um, at one point, like this rare creature like comes up and he like cuts the shit out of him. <laughs> uh, this is pretty funny. Uh, oh, and there's some dwarves and some rednecks with them. The dwarves are pretty cool. Oh, there's a scene where they're like climbing or climbing up a mountain and they take a shortcut and there's like a little bridge and they fucking fall off, which is funny. They're not actually dead, you come to find out. Because the old guy's really a dragon, which is weird. 
Executing support program. Oh, this is the episode with the fake mouse act. <laughs> he gets pissed off by the little girl. And then she fucks him up. Oh, and Siri breaks up with his fucking boyfriend. Yeah, all that shit was right. Shit was serious. Uh, the CG on the dragons was pretty cool, especially the dead green one. Like, it looked like a practical effect, but I don't think it was. <clears throat> I was hitting a button right there. She's got a really cool suit there, too. Like that sound. I think Oh, I thought it was cool how, like, um, at the end the dwarves didn't, um, they were pissed because they didn't get to kill anybody. But he gave them, like, dragon teeth to sell it to school. It's like a very um, video game thing to, like, get some materials as a reward. Never seen such equipment before. Need to investigate. Oh, yeah, dragon teeth. That shit's tight. Okay. Episode 7, Before a Fall. So this is when the, the milk guards invade, um, the silence in an invitation and Geralt to finally wants to, uh, come get, his, you? come get his baby. I've no time for you. Let's end this quickly. This guy was fucking me up too fucking much. He's watching and he's doing a little bit. Um... <clears throat> what else happens? Oh yeah, no for visit to that. Oh, she goes back to the school. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay. Not much else happens in that episode, I guess. Oh, Vilga Fort, he's pretty cool. Uh, he's actually like a bad guy, though. I don't think that's <clears throat> necessarily explained in the show. Or like it's less ambiguous. Oh, yeah, because I remember like in the last episode, there's that one dude that like uh, fucked all those soldiers up, and he's like almost dead on a rock in the show. And that didn't register me that he was like doing something special. Whenever I get that move, I'm not trying to do that move. I'm trying to do the <coughs> the A version of that move. Looks like I have no choice. Fight. I think his outfit to have like black armor, but you know what? That's Stand up. Now taste my steel. Not your lucky day. Let's do this. I should have known he was gonna do that. Taste the power of my sword. Haven't had enough. Oh yeah, Sarah goes crazy and kills the dudes that she used to be friends with, which is fucked up. And she kills the cow or whatever it was. <clears throat> Why buy the cow and get the milk for free, right? <clears throat> that dude had me so scared I popped Soul Charge. I don't know what to do with Soul Charge. Yeah, that's the wrong move, I don't want that. <clears throat> so I felt like at this point, I have a basic, basic bitch understanding of how to play this character. And he's pretty tight. Nice outfit, by the way.
Okay, so the final episode a is much more, cut even the frozen air and this is basically two. like, um, Geralt of Rivia, no more flashback, it's like forward time now, and so, I'm fine. they're trying to keep I the milk guards this. from, uh, <clears throat> taking over all the north, and so they have to, uh, hold this time, which is pretty cool, because, like, you know, any kind of movie where, like, they have to get ready for, like, a battle, like, two towers and shit. Uh, like the lead up to it's always really cool and uh fodder for building something. Oh and you get a ton of shots of uh, the one witch with the big city. Which is cool. The archer chip. That mid slicing move, that's also not what I want. I want the one that goes into the Quinn mix up. <clears throat> yeah, that one. Like that. So I think I have the lethal hit. Uh, it's kind of hard to remember which ones you have, or if you have them all. Like, if there's a little visual indicator, that would fit. But, uh, you know. Short time memory loss and all that shit, you know. Being a star. Uh, oh yeah, that shit was Vogel for it. Whatever. Oh, this the uh, the coolest part about the last episode was all the magic shit. Like uh, the one black chick sends like a big fireball, <laughs> and she has to like sacrifice a witch every time they do it, which is fucked up. And uh, Jennifer was like, fuck that shit. She just talked to herself. And, uh, and she showed her true power at the end. Oh yeah, one of the fucked up parts about the show was Trish. I thought she was right. Having played a little bit of Witcher 2, she's kind of in that a lot. And uh, it just wasn't as good. But anyway. Ever fight a Witcher? Guess not. That was sick. I was looking for that. Never seen such too, equipment like, before. Need to investigate. But yeah, The Witcher show's tight, and I'm looking forward to more. And I'm gonna play some more Geralt too. Cause he's a lot of fun.